don't know why I blew a kiss. A bit weird. It's just me and you here, mate. That's a bit weird. <laughs> <laughs> so it's Saturday. I'm going off to climb the Grand Pillar de Cordy. I'm going to often climb this uh, thing that I'm going to put on the screen. The weather is like a bit iffy this weekend, but this thing should be cool. I'm going to get the last lift up, have a bivvy. I'm kind of excited for a few reasons. The main one, being I get to go climbing, and the second one that I have to try out, I have to, I get to try out my new Alpha SV jacket, which I did a vlog on before uh, about the fact that it was quite expensive. So now I get to find out about why it's so expensive and why it's basically badass. I haven't even taken the tags off. We're at the Midi Mid station. Our route is over there. We were kind of being a bit down on ourselves. We pulled out and doing the walker today because there was like potentially storms. But like coming up here, the weather looks pretty crap. We might have actually made the right decision. Maybe. Might be testing out the jacket sooner than I thought. Ben eating a banana. This vlog is fucking action packed. But we are at the bivvy. Here it is. That's the route tomorrow. That's the Agua Lem there. And then over there is a big fuck off thunderstorm. What are you doing there, buddy? Ben managed to bring a bottle of wine. Didn't bring a bottle over there. At least I bought a bottle of wine, mate. What did you? I bought the party. Did you bring the party? Got the party right here. <laughs> It's actually coming out. <laughs> That's just gonna break. That is the wrong thing to do. Oh, he's always done it. Ladies and gentlemen, Ben Coop. <laughs> ben Coop, everyone. That is <laughs> all right. <laughs> Highly drinkable. First time I'm properly trying this on. Let's explain some of the features on this. Uh, what Arcteryx have done is they've made the jacket lighter but with just as much toughness and waterproofidity. <coughs> all the um, zips have all been redesigned. The tape on the inside has been made super small. Again, to save weight and glue. So these, uh, these toggles have all been redesigned so it's all like interior now. So there's no sort of faffy bits to get in the way. This is the fifth generation of Alpha Jacket uh, and it's just been constantly over the years improved and improved and improved. And you can feel it. I mean, this thing is absolute quality. It's basically just like the ultimate Alpine jacket. I like it. And what's happening? Nothing at all, Matthew. What's happening is it's raining. It's a little. But I have brought a waterproof jacket. <laughs> Turn around in a sleeping bag. Jacket's good so far. I'm actually quite pleased I got to use it. <laughs> How creepy does this look? It's stopped raining. Um, we're nice and dry though, and uh, we're gonna go to bed. Ooh. Good night. Morning. I've lost the lid for my stove. <laughs> the sunglasses fit really well into the side pocket <laughs> on the sh on the uh, sleeve. It's well good. Okay, so we're in pitch three, we think. Yeah. Climbing is a little bit chossy so far. Basically all good. Looking down there. Good luck, Benny boy. Uh, Ben's led his block of leads. I've done one lead and I'm gonna lead up, carrying on up here. So far, so far we're making a pretty good time. I'm not gonna say it's going well, because that's when it will always go wrong. But no, it's cool, it's good climbing, a um, bit loose, but we knew that. <laughs> bit loose. <laughs> bit loose, all of it is loose. There's Ben. Him on the left. So, my trail mix is a mix of salty peanuts, fizzy sweets, peanut M&Ms. How's your tape gloves working oh, out? I've made them inside out. The bits that should be on the back are in the front. And so, it's, so they're all just... What do you think of the route so far? I don't think it's as good as people told me it was. No. Hopefully it'll be all right for me though. 
Hi right, Ben, talk us through where we are. Well, I think we're about a pitch, maybe a pitch and a half from the top. I think we might be a little further. I think we might be three. But I think we'll run it all together because it should be quite easy. My hat's always wonky. So we just come from down there. All the you way see down that? There. All the way down there. This thing is big. Like, this is big, right? Yeah. There's Chamonix down there. It's 2.30. Almost there. We have made it. So down there is the med glass, a long way away. So the 24 pitches. Yeah, man, that was that was a good effort. Yeah. Doesn't um, give up, does it? it really doesn't give up. <laughs> yeah. But still, under eight hours for that, I'm pretty happy. So that's cool. So uh, yeah, so now we just have a small matter of about 20 repels, and I need some beer. So uh, I probably won't pull the camera out again because a big I hate repelling. Hate it. So um, yeah, I'm gonna hide the camera away until we're at the bottom. So I don't know why I blew a kiss. So we're back at the bivy now. It took us eight hours to do the route and about four hours, four and a half hours to wrap the thing. But we did it, and it's a big route actually. Pretty chuffed. Mark Tarek's jacket was badass. It did even rain a little bit. It did even rain on me, and like I had to put it on. It was like a proper test. Um, so that was cool. So yeah, uh, route done. Gotta go to work tomorrow. Shit.